So the first time, <clears throat> the first time I went to jail was in 2010. Um, I was 23 years old. And I was living in a bad neighborhood. I was getting drunk every single day. And I kept on getting all these tickets. Like these, uh, what do they call them? Uh, what are they called? Citations, that's what they call it in the States. And I kept on getting all these citations. And I know in the States, I'm, I'm sure it's the same. If you don't pay them, you uh, have to go to county jail for a few days. So I have, over the course of like three months, I got probably like, I think nine or yeah 900 bucks in fines we call them fines in Canada um, I had 900 uh, 900 bucks standing outstanding in fines um, <clears throat> yeah, I was just from getting drunk and causing a ruckus and just starting fights with people like the cops in Canada are extremely lenient the justice system is lenient and compared to the states and honestly uh, I remember October of 2010 going out and I got so plastered I don't know how I ended up there, but I was drunk out of my mind. And I was in the northeast end of Calgary, and that's where, like, the ghetto is. The ghetto is, like, all of the northeast, like, the whole quadrant of the city. And I was just walking around there. I know this, this older woman hit on me, and I was trying to go to her house, but... I decided not to. I ended up at the airport. I don't know why, but I ended up at the airport. And I was, uh, I don't know what I was doing, but I was like acting all crazy. And this is the first time I went to jail. I got like six cops uh, coming up to me and putting me in handcuffs and put me in the back of the squad car squad car or whatever they call it and i got taken downtown and i got sent to remand center which is the equivalent of a county jail and it was going good at first but then this really big guy who wasn't big but he was tough like tried to rob me for my meal when I saw the nurse hey you have to see the nurse every time you go in and she sent me to a good unit you know nothing really happened that wasn't out of the ordinary and it wasn't really that bad of a place either or at least the part of the jail I was at but I remember I was in the psych ward and I remember that there was some guy who was claiming that he was Hell's Angels and then he said they put uh, the Tim Hortons puts chemicals in their coffee to turn people into homosexuals. <laughs> so I thought that guy was completely crazy. There was this cocky guy named Jim, or sorry, James. And me and my cellmate were gonna rob him for uh, crackers or cookies or something. He had like a stash of crackers or cookies or so, something in a box. Like, I'm pretty sure it was like uh, something good, but. 
I don't know, that was my first time in jail. And I remember they clicked the door. And when it unlocks, you open the door and you get trays. And I missed it. And I went to get my tray. And there was a slot in between the door where the trays go through and you collect the trays. And I missed it. So the guard was there and she said, put your head there on the slot. And I did it. <laughs> she said, I should grab your head and pull it through here. Like jail is not a good place. Like it may sound cool, but don't go there. Even bad stuff can happen in a psych ward. Uh, there's a really small psych ward in the Calgary Man Center called ATU2. There's like, what, 30 people there out of 800? What are the odds are you that are going to go there? And it's just getting overcrowded. There's three people to a cell. The cells are like the size of a... Uh, a washroom, uh, a private washroom or something. It's, it's horrible conditions. I've been to regular units as well. Man, there's some stuff that goes on there and it's crazy. People eating their own, uh, what's the word, best word I can use, excrement. Or no, sorry, they get other people to eat excrement. They literally have this thing called crap bones. They don't word it that way. But they have this thing called crap bones. And they throw it under your door. They mix crap, like literally crap, with urine. And they stir it up somehow. So it's diluted. And they toss it under your door. It's never happened to me out of the seven years that I've been there. Uh, but it has happened. Like, I, I've done it to someone, maybe even two people. Or you can just take urine, put it in a cup, and toss it under someone's door. I've done that more than twice. Just a negative place. There's people that take things filled with crap and throw it at guards, throw it at each other. It's when I said I was institutionalized, it's because the people that don't do well in prison are the people that go around meddling in other people's business. And people that are in on bad charges, like hitting a woman or something to do with kids or, or sexual stuff. It's stuff like that. Those people are the ones that get messed with. But still, if you say one wrong thing to someone, you can and will be messed with. You'll be forced to do things you don't want to do like consume excrement or have excrement thrown at you under the door or in your face and i'm not joking dude like, it happens there's people that have been probed with sharp objects like literally they take your your coveralls off if they think you have dope on you and they want to rob it from you. They take your coveralls off. They'll take a pen. And they'll stick it where the sun doesn't shine. I'm not saying this to be a jerk or anything. I'm just saying this to be real. Jail's not a fun place. And not only do they do it. They continuously do it. Until whatever they think you have comes out. And man the screams are horrible. When you hear that happening to someone. I just pray that this keep someone out of jail.
there's so many things that happen in jail. There's, there was this one guy, big, huge guy. I'm pretty sure he raped a bunch of people in his cell. But he would always take a crap and say, look me in the eye while I'm taking a crap. I wouldn't want him as a cellmate. And plus, that guy was huge. He was like 300 pounds. He was a bodybuilder and he was fat. He was nice to me. I, I wasn't his cellmate, though. But just the things that could happen. And if that's in a Canadian jail, think about how bad American jails would be. And a lot of people don't even talk about some of the stuff that's happened to them. So if you think jail is cool, think again and trust in Christ because he loves you. And you know what? Another reason to trust in Christ is because hell is a million times worse than the worst jail on earth. God bless you.